The big problem you have with any skyscraper is what do you do with the heat load? How do you keep the heat load out but still make it a very light appearing building with a lot of light coming into the building? And the brilliance of what Renzo designed for this building is to create a series of ceramic rods and the rods hang 18 inches off the face of the building, so it's a double skin of the building. So that these ceramic rods knock out about 50% of the heat load from the building. And knocking out that heat load makes this a very energy efficient building and means that we can have floor to ceiling glass that's also water white. So it doesn't have that tinge that you usually see in other buildings. And what also happens is that this ceramic rods creates a plane that stands out from the space and you can see it that it flies by the corner and at the roof it flies by the side and so it adds another dimension and excitement to the skin of the building as well as making the top of the building dematerialize as the ceramic rods fly past the hard parts of the roof and basically disappears into the sky. So it makes it a lot of elements coming together, which frankly, I think is what makes good design. It was a tremendous challenge. It led us to do a whole bunch of things that have rarely been done, if ever done, in New York. Our lighting is such that the shades automatically drop to block glare. And they're calculated with sensors all around looking for glare. And when they see glare, they lower the shades. The lights independently automatically adjust for whatever light level that department's uh, working with. So if you look carefully, you'll see these lights are fairly dim. There are lights out completely at that end, and then it transits over as you get further away from the windows and turns bright. And what this does is during the course of the day, the building's almost organic the way it's moving. And one day I'm sitting in my office, I'm looking out, and it was a thunderstorm. So it went from the shades down because it was very sunny to now the thunderstorms came in, the shades went up, the lights came on a little bit, the storm passed, the building changed back again. And throughout the whole day, this building is adjusting to the light around it. So that what's illuminating your desk for much of the day is pure natural light. And it is just a different feeling than what you feel in most office buildings.